what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl i'm ani jelena and i'm here with another video so this was a video that i was contemplating if i was gonna make or not but why not right you guys are getting the raw me no makeup no bra no nothing okay so i just really wanted to jump on camera really really quickly because i had put some notes together and thought that this could be an interesting topic topic for some of you guys who potentially want to go into this particular field So as you can see from the title, we're going to talk about starting a dropship company or a dropship program or a service that you want to include within your company. Uh, you don't have to specifically just drop, drop ship um, hair bundles or anything like that. You could drop ship anything. You can drop ship lashes. You can have a drop ship company for clothing, for shirts, t-shirts, whatever you want. So I basically put together a list of things that I do feel as though you guys need to follow if you are interested in going down the path of you know, opening a dropship service or company and so forth. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is when you have a dropship company, the main thing is inventory. You have to make sure that you have a nice stock of inventory on hand for whatever you are selling. So because that is the, the, the sole purpose of having a dropship company due to the fact that you have all of the merchandise and products on hand to be able to ship out for someone else's company. So that's the fir very first thing. It's going to be the inventory. The next thing is doing a lot of research me i am specifically in the hair industry so i know a lot of things pertaining to the hair industry of course because that's the hair that's the industry that I, that i basically cater to and specialize in uh so that is my next big big recommendation is definitely make sure you know what you're getting yourself into you research the industry to its full degree to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into opening up a drop ship service the next thing is the the following thing would be creating awareness for your business um and basically if you guys don't know what awareness is i'm going to refer you back to the video right up here but awareness is basically when you're um bringing promotion around your business you're bringing exposure to your business putting it on different platforms and so forth so other individuals uh learn and are aware of your business uh, the next thing is going to be reasonable prices. Uh, when you do start a dropshipping service, your prices don't have to be like wholesale prices, but having them somewhere in the middle where they're not too expensive, but they're not too inexpensive and that your company is still making profit at the end of the day is very important. If you guys for any chance need a little help with creating your prices and things like that, I'll leave a link right below. And that link will explain to you guys thoroughly on how to price your products and the proper format to pricing your products so that your company does so that your company does 100% make profit now how you ultimately make money having a dropship program is basically through subscriptions so basically whatever website that you're using you want to make sure that you have some type of subscription on there where you're getting basically residual income in, 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 until a customer cancels or whatever your potentially uh or whatever your future cancellation process is so basically the subscriptions plans would be on your website uh, your future customers would then go in figure out which plan that they want to sign up for and then sign up for it with their card information and then from that point you can either schedule it till to the point where your customer is paying monthly, bi-weekly, weekly, yearly, and so forth. But that's, of course, up to the owner's discretion and how exactly, you know, that, that goes hand in hand with how exactly you're running your company regarding the, uh, the payment processing. So those are some of the quick tips that I just wanted to really throw out there for you guys. For those of you who are interested in starting up some form of a dropshipping service. This was the, the things that I spoke about today was more so entry level beginner friendly information. If you guys do want a more into depth video about how to 100% set your business up as a dropshipping service or opening up a dropshipping program within an already existing company, please let me know and I'll definitely do a very thorough video for it. But like I said, this was just some really quick information that I wanted to get out there to those of you who are actually interested in going into more of a dropship service. So I love all of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you genuinely did like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.